What's going on YouTube? It is Christian Guzman, your online personal trainer, sponsored athlete, and fitness model. Today I want to really go in depth with you guys and discuss the flat bench press. I'm going to show you guys how to do it, a couple tips, and a couple mistakes you commonly see. A lot of times you'll see guys either hurting their shoulders, tearing their rotator cuff, uh, you know, just complaining that they can't get down low enough, and I just want to kind of show you guys a proper way to do it. Uh, the flat bench, guys, it's the king of upper body compound movements. For compound, you got your squats, deadlifts. Uh, deadlifts is a real awesome one that's more of a full body, but your bench press is going to really target your chest, your shoulders, and your triceps. So, um, another thing, a lot of times I'll get you know people coming to me saying, "Hey, Christian, I really want to target you know the inner lower chest, or the my left upper is not equal to my right upper, or." What, you know, just saying these little minute details. And what I want you guys to understand, for a few years, if you're just starting out, do not worry about those little imbalances, guys. Focus on bringing up your strength, bringing up your compound movements, uh, really setting that foundation for yourself. And then once you've been training for a couple of years, maybe you can better evaluate after you build some solid muscle mass. Okay, yeah, maybe my upper chest is lagging a little bit, or maybe this, but be sure to focus on the compounds. Uh, I like, when I first started out, guys, my first three years was flat bench. Now, you can always you know, incorporate a, uh, some incline in there, but flat bench should be your staple. So I'm gonna come show you guys a couple tips. Uh, number one is your setup. Scapular retraction, it is crucial. All that means is you wanna pinch your shoulder blades together. Now, the way you do that, if you look at my back here, you wanna first, you pull up. Second, you pull back, and now you're ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna do that on the bench. So you pull up, and then back, and that's our movement, okay? So scapular retraction. You start off sitting right here, you come back, you retract your scapula. So notice I pull up, pull back. Next thing you wanna do, can you guys see this lower arch coming back? That is crucial, guys. You want to get in a powerful stance right here. So scapula. Have that powerful stance, slight arch in the lower back. I would say about two to three inches in your lower back. Your upper back is on the bench and your butt is on the bench. Bring your feet back so you have a nice stance, powerful right here. From here, the grip is also crucial. If you come over here, you can now kind of discuss the grip really quick. I know it's kind of awkward over here. We're going to go ahead and talk about it anyway. The main reason people have shoulder problems, there's two reasons. One, you go too wide of a grip, okay? And two, you're going too high on your chest. So the wider you go, the more shoulder you're gonna be working. The closer you go, the more tricep you're gonna be working. So a close, a close grip bench for your tricep is probably about anything shoulder width and inside. Chest, I like to go wherever this little part gets rough right here. So you see the bar is smooth, and then the bar gets rough. I like to put my thumb right where the bar gets rough, Extend it, and that's my grip right there. So right next to this line. I do that on both, and this is gonna be awesome for your chest. Now some people like to go a little bit wider, which is okay if it doesn't cause you pain, but I find that this is where I'm most powerful, and I've seen great results from my chest. So from here, like I said, pinch your shoulders, get that arch in your lower back, get your butt planted and your feet planted, upper back planted, you lift off, now, what's crucial is you want to be pushing in a straight line. So you go down and up in a straight line. Up. 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 Another thing I want you guys to notice. Look at my elbows. My elbows are tucked in. So my elbows are not flared out like this. This is how you get injured. You do not want to do this. I'm doing this for demonstration. This is how you hurt your shoulders. Okay, this is correct right here. Elbows, up, elbows, up, elbows, up. By tucking your elbows like that, guys, you're creating more power, more strength uh, for your chest. So don't go like this, it's gonna hurt your shoulder. And you, as far as bringing it down, guys, you wanna bring it about, about to your nipple line. You don't wanna bring it too high. Like I said, for shoulder pain, bring it right about nipple line. So I'll show you guys like a full in action, getting in position. Okay, step one. So on the bench, step two, come back. Now here, I like to kind of 
Get my shoulders in place and get that arch of my lower back at the same time. Get your powerful stance. Now by popping our chest out, we're shortening the distance the bar has to travel. Get your hand placement. Up. Tuck your elbows in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Sorry, this bench is kind of off, guys. I had to build this bench myself because I can't record in there because of the music and the copyright stuff. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you learned something. Uh, if you can't feel your chest, be sure to do a couple, you know, light sets. Be sure your form is perfect so you can feel your chest activating. Then start adding the weight. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Email me at Christianisonfitness at yahoo.com to hire me as your online personal trainer. And stay safe, guys.